our vision is to map the druggable transcriptome. The reason we started off on this journey is because the majority of drug discovery classically is targeting 2% of the human genome that makes protein, so the druggable proteome. And our hypothesis is that if you can target the druggable transcriptome, which is 70% of the human genome, then you can begin to address inaccessible human biology. So in the past three years, what we've done is we've generated the world's largest database of RNA structures. And at Stevenage, we've built synthetic biology tools that enable us to map those RNA structures to function. And so we say that we have the world's largest database of druggable RNA structures. When I started this company, one of the core things is we didn't have a lot of money. That most, most companies don't. Um, we actually raised in the US. We raised, we were a Y Combinator company. And because we were part of YC, there was the opportunity of San Francisco, Boston. But we decided, no, we're going to put our footprint in Stevenage. And the reason for that was because we could get lab space. You get a bench, you get a little bit of space, but you get shared facilities. You know, you don't need to go buy an autoclave. You don't need to go buy PCR machines. And so it allows you to de risk leases that allows you to actually start building lab space and I think that gives you as people with ideas or people coming out of pharma with ideas the ability to iterate ideas in a low cost footprint. The choice of SBC was around proximity to London where right? you can attract talent from London, you can attract talent from Cambridge but most importantly for us the decision was around not having to deal with the kitting out of an entire lab from scratch. So really that shared facility, the community, other founders at a very similar stage, it really builds a community that you can lean on. 